Hi, this is Steve again. I'm in the backyard garden and I've been asked by several people to show them how to make their own tomato. I'm going to go through the steps needed to hybridize your own tomato plant. First, we're going to take a look at the tools we're going to need. A pair of tweezers. Cuticle scissors. Plastic toothpick. Plant labels, string, a permanent marker, an electric toothbrush. And don't forget the all important sunglass lens. These came out of an old pair of sunglasses and they're kind of uh, concave so they work absolutely perfectly for collecting pollen. Now we're looking at some blossoms and as you can see this one is, the, the petals are fully folded back. The stamens are bright yellow, and, and, and this is too far gone. This is a good one to collect pollen from, but not a good one to emasculate and use for as the female parent. This one's a little bit better, but still, since the petals have started to peel away and open up, there's a good chance that this has already been self-pollinated. This third blossom here, now this is one that would be okay, and I used the toothpick, the little plastic toothpick, and it'll work. The only problem with one that is at this stage is I have to come back about 12 hours later to pollinate. And I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll have to make a note which plant needs to accept pollen. As you can see, the stamens are popping off of there without any need of any tweezers at all, just using the little pick. Now that we've got the blossom emasculated, we're going to take a pair of scissors and trim off the sepals and the petals. Once we get this trimmed, then we're ready to bring the pollen over. There's a couple reasons for trimming the sepals and the petals. One is, when this grows into a tomato, it's easy to identify that this is the one that's been cross-pollinated because you've cut the sepals off. The other reason is, the sepals tend to get in the way when you bring the lens over to put pollen right here. All right, let's go get our pollen. Okay, now we've selected a blossom, and we're going to take our lens and our electric toothbrush, and we're going to vibrate this blossom to get some pollen to come out on the lens. enough. And we come back to our bloom that's been emasculated and we just very very gently drag it through the pollen. If you press too hard it's going to break the pistol and then you have to snip that off and start all over. There. See, here's one that has already been emasculated, trimmed, and pollinated. We've tied a tag on here with the name of the tomato that was the pollen donator. And uh, in about 10 days or so, we're going to see some real swelling in this area uh, right in here that will develop into a tomato. Mm -hmm. 